guys, it's Trina and this is my monthly recommendations video for the month of November. If you don't know what monthly recommendations is, I will put a link to the group down below. This month our theme is family focus. So we are recommending books that have some kind of family element to them that really connected with us. And I'm going to start this list off with Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This is the story of a boy who is having an online crush, online relationship with another boy in his school, but neither one of them know the other's identity. And we are following Simon as he is trying to figure out who his online crush is, and he's also wondering if now may be the time to come out to his family and to his school. This book had such a wonderful family dynamic. It also has a wonderful friend dynamic and school dynamic. I felt like this book got all of the social groups in a teenager's life. Like, it just made them feel very, very realistic to me. I thought Simon's family was really wonderful, and I loved seeing such a supportive family in young adult fiction, because a lot of times the families are kind of absent, especially the parents. They're kind of absent, and that allows the protagonist to kind of go about their life and lead these adventures without the parents getting in the way or whatever, but his parents are very much around and he also has two sisters and I really enjoyed all of the scenes that had to do with his family like there are some descriptions of like these games that the family plays together I just love that Simon's family another of my favorite family dynamics is in the Cahill Witch Chronicles by Jessica Spotswood this is a trilogy following three sisters who are witches this puritanical society is basically imprisoning or sentencing to death women who are portraying any kind of power where they suspect they might be witches but our main character characters actually do have magical abilities and they're trying to hide that. I feel like the series is incredibly feminist and there are many diverse side characters, but my favorite thing about it is definitely the sister relationships. They are not perfect sister relationships. These three sisters are actually the subject of a prophecy that says one of them is going to be like the greatest witch that they have ever known. And so all three of the sisters are kind of like, is it me? And you can tell that some of these sisters really value this idea of being the most powerful and so at times that really pits them against each other. There are definitely some moments of betrayal and just outright backstabbing. Like these are not a, you know like an ideal perfect relationship but I really really admire our main character Kate's loyalty to her sisters above all else. She really feels like it is her job in the world to protect them and to look out for their best interests even when they have betrayed her. Kate is still always thinking about her sister so that is definitely a strong theme in this series. I also want to talk about the family relationship in The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. Now families don't play a large role. The parents actually aren't around that much but there is this one scene between one of our main characters PK and her parents that I just loved. PK is a preacher's daughter and she does spend most of the book just wanting to get out from underneath her father's reputation and PK definitely does not adhere to some of the things that her father preaches in the church. But what I really loved about what this book did with him as a character was it didn't vilify him because so often in YA if there's a character who is the daughter of a religious figure, that religious figure is usually seen as super strict and very judgmental of their teenager's behavior. But this father has just this beautifully healthy scene where he sits his daughter down and he says what happens to you what you choose to do in your life no matter what you do or who you are or anything nothing is ever going to make me stop loving you and you can always always come to me with anything you need and I just thought that her parents were so wonderful. So I just thought this was such a healthy portrayal. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. I also have really loved the family in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han. Our main character is one of three sisters, and they are living with a single dad. So she is dealing with the loss of her mother, which was something that I connected with, having lost my mom too. I love seeing how active their dad was in their lives, and the sister relationships are really great in this book as well. Sometimes they are at odds, and sometimes they are a united front. And another thing I really liked about it was the family's culture in this book and how it was incorporated into it through the grandparents because these main characters' mother was Korean and their father is white. The family's culture and that dynamic really do play into the main character, Lara Jean's life, and she's trying to like balance what her family wants of her and what she's expected to be versus becoming her own person. And I really just, I liked the family dynamic and all the family members in this series. Next I want to talk about the Sisterhood series by Anne Brashares. There are four main characters in this series and there are two of them that I feel like had a very strong impact with the family dynamic in this series to me at least. Those were Bridget and Carmen. Bridget is a character that is struggling with the loss of her mom because her mom was mentally ill and committed suicide. And then the other character that I really connected with was Carmen because she is actually from a divorced home and you see her throughout the series dealing with both of her parents moving on with their lives and remarrying and this just 
just creates such a turmoil for Carmen because she does not know how to process these feelings and she just kind of feels jealous of both of her parents' new families. I really felt like her family life played such a large role in this series and that actually made Carmen feel like the realest character of the four in my opinion. So I really loved Carmen and I loved the role that her family played and how you constantly see her struggling with her feelings towards her mom and dad. I also really loved the main character's family from If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Our main character Amanda is a trans girl and she has transitioned and both of her parents are dealing with this in different ways. I really loved how rounded this story was. It's not just Amanda's experience, although she is the main character and that's definitely who the story revolves around, but you also see how her transition has affected both of her parents. Whereas Amanda's mom is really supportive, her dad is really struggling with the idea of having a trans daughter. Through him, this book actually shows you an example of transphobia from a parent to a child and how Amanda is dealing with that. I just really loved how it showed what she was facing even at home from her own parents. Probably my favorite book on this list is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This is a middle grade illustrated novel and it is about a boy who is being bullied at school and he is dealing with the divorce of his parents and not getting along with his grandmother. There's a lot of family dynamic in this book, but this story so accurately reflected exactly what I went through when I was his age. It just has such a special place in my heart because I connected with it so much. I feel like this story was written for me. Definitely love the family dynamic because that's definitely a large part of this story. I also quickly want to recommend a couple of comic series. The first one is the Miss Marvel comic series and this one is following a teenager named Kamala Khan who has turned into a new superhero, Miss Marvel, and she is struggling with hiding her new super identity from her family. You have a lot of interactions between her and her parents and her brother who do live a strict Muslim lifestyle. I just think that her family does play a great role in this one. I thought it was really fun to see a superhero who is a teenager and who is like trying to make it home by curfew while still saving the world. So her family does play a large role in that series, so I would recommend that one. And then the other comic I would recommend is the Saga series. This one is a sci-fi adult comic series and you are following two characters who have met and fallen in love and had a baby. And the narrator of this series is that baby who is telling us the story of her parents. Her parents are actually from different sides of this huge war that's going on. So their species are like at war. They really mistrust each other other but these two have this forbidden love affair and this biracial baby that the whole galaxy is like freaking out about and so they're on the run and they're having to deal with each other's family members and different cultural expectations from each other but I definitely love Hazel and her family in this series so I would recommend it. Those are some of my favorite fictional families and if you guys have any recommendations for me of the books that include your favorite families or family members or family dynamics let me know those down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!